Bruce got on to me the last time I was there about my war service. He was really hip about everything that went on. Well, you you just got there and it ended, right? Well, it ended when I was out to, ready to go overseas, but I still went overseas, yeah. We were in Halifax on, on the, getting ready to go on the boat when it ended. But, you know, they didn't stop anything like that. And going over, I had to go and gun duty on the ship. And that was and that was when the war in Europe ended? Yeah. And they still sent you to Europe? No, to England, yeah. To England, yeah. 45? Yeah. What was Bruce getting on you for? They wanted to know everything that happened. I told them all the stories I could remember. Well, I mean, it's so interesting to us now to yeah. read about the war. But if you're reading a book or something about well, it. Some of them, yeah, the worst thing. Like, you know, I got in the Air Force and I went to Brandon first. You want to hear the story? Mm -hmm. And I got in the, uh, well, you're not taping it, are you? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> well, anyway, when the first thing it is, uh, it bugged me, I started smoking, and I was the only one that had cigarettes, and everybody was bugging me, so I quit. I never smoked again. They were bugging you for what? Cigarettes. <laughs> they wanted to bump cigarettes off? Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> And uh, and there was a lot of Toronto guys here, and we and the Manitoba just hated them. They were so damn cocky you wouldn't believe. It. They thought the the end of the world. These guys <laughs> from Toronto that were in the just, just, just like just, today. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, no. I, well, I've never seen them today, but I'll never forget that how we were how bad that to me they were. They weren't. They didn't like Manitoba. They didn't like nothing. And, so then we went from there to Regina uh, to initial training camp. And that would, would be that would be uh, by train. Uh, yeah, from Brandon to Regina by train. We got there and we went through this. It was actually at the Mounties camp where we were training. At, you know where they at the Mounties. And uh, so is this basic army tra type training? Yeah. No, we're yeah. not into flights yet. No, I think we took training there. Um, I remember the, the one thing that really gets in my mind, we're taking this uh, course on mechanics. And I got a hundred. And the instructor says, there's a kid from a rural community. <laughs> I'll never forget that. From there, well, I got the mumps there, and they shipped me back to Brandon for six weeks because you know the mumps that time was really a bad thing. So I missed a couple of my flight guys went on, and I had to go back to Regina. Then, from my first initial flying school, I went to Burton. So how did you do in flying school? Good. Why? Well, good. <laughs> no, I mean, no, we went, went there and I took initial uh, training, flying training. And I uh, soloed there on the Cornell and I used to fly over Canton and I used to rev my motor above Dad's elevator and he'd come out and wave. <laughs> I'll never forget that. So, Nan Norris tells the story about you swooping down and hey, knocking uh, over his student. <laughs> yeah, that's not, I might have swooped down, but. It, you know that was you know I knew the neighborhood on, the, on that every every aspect of it. That must have been cool for your dad, like to come out and see you flying up there. Yeah, I don't know what cool or what he was. But then uh, actually, then I graduated from that, and uh, then they said that there was no service thing where you go to the two engine planes. It was a big hold up, you know. It was in '44, like after they had too many pilots going through. So the, what they did uh, when I left Burden, they shipped us to Vancouver, and then we went by train to Vancouver. Then we ended up in Northern uh, Island at Cold Harbor in Port Hardy, and we are on building roads. And we are pilots. <laughs> it never rained every bloody day. They have, we had lots of equipment on it, and uh, they flew cancels out, you know, going out over the Pacific looking for Japanese things. The planes went out every day. We Those didn't get on, yeah. you know, 
So they're looking for subs in that. That's what they're doing up there, that right on the northern tip of the We went up by a boat from Vancouver up to the, I'll never forget that. It was kind of rough going up the channel right to Cold Harbor. So we stood that about six weeks and then a bunch of us says, that's enough of that. So we volunteered to be air gunners. Right away they shipped us from, there was, a, there was not many air gunners, they shipped us from there to McDonald in north of Portage. And we went through that and I graduated from that. And from there they shipped me to Summerside for more training. That's in uh, Prince Edward Island. Right. So I went from Vancouver Island to Prince Edward Island. And from Summerside we went to Halifax and then went overseas. Okay, so what would be the time period from that time building roads and volunteering and then ending up in Halifax? Oh, it would be about six months, I guess, or five or six months. Somewhere that I have no idea, you know, I can't remember that aspect of it. But we had to, uh, that, and that I remember being in, in Halifax. Well, it wasn't Halifax, there was a place where everybody, you know, where they put everybody before they went overseas. Yeah. And uh, the, um, they gave us all two big bottles of wine the day the war ended. And everybody was, <laughs> I'll never forget that. Red? I forget, I, don't, I didn't drink wine at that time, I don't think, hardly any. <laughs> then we went overseas and oh man was it terrible. Big boat, five bunks up, in a, in a big ballroom that was on the other fence. And the first three days was terrible. Everybody was sick. Oh, you Three wouldn't. days of what? The boat across. Uh, it was a big, uh, we are in five deep in, a, in a, a ballroom from the Elder France, a big and old sh ship. And it was so rough and everybody was sick. And you know, I wasn't, uh, you know, my stomach is, uh, I wasn't seasick, but man, they forced everybody to go down and eat. You know, that was the thing they had to do. You, you couldn't not go down and eat. So you'd line up to go down the stairs, and you know half the people were sick on the way down the stairs going into the. Oh, <laughs> lovely! <laughs> we got in the thing, and I'll never forget this. Uh, we got rabbit food. The ship had been to Australia before, and the guy says, "Look at that! Here's a couple of nuts from a rabbit. You put the pits up into the out of the plate." <laughs> 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 Funny how little things you remember like that. Oh, and was it all men? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Huh. Then we didn't have much of training. We went to Bournemouth and a couple of places there and just had physical edges. And when the war had ended, you know, and everybody was coming back. So yep. Then the volunteer Pacific shipped me home. You volunteered for the Pacific? Yeah. As a gunner? Yeah. As, you know, as a gunner, yeah. Because the war was still going on with Japan. Yeah. And then so they were asking for volunteers, so they shipped me home and got home about a month and the war ended. So you would have been a gunner in what kind of ship? Uh, like the B-17? Uh, yeah, well we never really got into it. The, my training was on, oh, what do they call it, Lancaster type thing. You know. Yeah. You know, we shot out of a turret. Yeah. And the swing with the turret. And the, and I was always so mad in the training. You know, I swore every bullet. You have a tracer every fifth bullet, and I swore every bullet went the thing. You get back, and you only have about two in the drill. I mean, well, they had a plane ahead of you with it. Okay, in the in the what? That that's a drogue They pull behind a plane. A drone. A drone, yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. And you, you shoot at it, and you know, of course, you, the turret wouldn't go far enough to hit the plane that was towing right, it. Right. Okay. But you fired this thing, and then, you know, there were just thousands of rounds going out there, big belts come up through the, yeah. the guns. And so this would be like a tail turret? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's right. I think it was a tail turret on the, the ones we were training. You'd have, you'd have to go in and it would be a big open dome? That yeah, you're a in? big dome thing, yeah, and the big things come up with it. And was it a two-hander? It held it by two, like two hands? And yeah. And, and was, it, was it like a trigger? Yeah. And 
This is on a boat or a plane? It's a plane. It's a train. plane. It got train. a train. Were you scared? I can't remember being scared. I can't remember being scared. Well, you know, this is just practice. You know, there was no... But you were going off to war. Yeah, I know. So you thought. Yeah. But that's you, eh? Like, ah, oh, we're sick of this building roads. Let's volunteer to be gunners. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was just for a lot of us. Well, we knew that, you know, that things were winding down the head. Yeah, I'd love to got a, you know, sold it on a twin engines. Never got there. Some of the guys stayed, and they did go. I heard from some of them after, but they didn't graduate to after the war. And the thing, they never got overseas or anything like that. Oh, yeah. So I do. Well, that was the best part. At least they got overseas. Saw London. Saw my relatives. That would be. Uh uh, Sylvia, I think it was. I Helen's, went to Helen's. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Helen's parents. Yeah. What was your yeah. last name again? I don't. I forget. They were. Were they Youngs or? No Hargreaves. Dad's sister. Yeah, we have them. Yeah. Have you got that Helen that I was pen pals with though? I know. We can look up. So, well, remember you were there. And then what uh, happened? I'll never. You know, we went to Burnaby. That's where we lived, and it was a nice old house, you know, and that. And, uh, and I said, "Well, let's go out and look at the town." So this, uh, this one of these, I think it was Helen or one of these girls went with me down there, and I went down. And said, "Let's go in here." She said, "No, nope, can't go in there, but not for any, anybody." To, like you, she said. I'll never forget that. Joke. How much older the, of you than you than? I don't know. I have no idea. Oh, was it a, a lure house or something? No, just a, a par with girls, I guess. So you were under twenty then. Yeah, I joined up seventeen. 18. No, it was eighteen when I went to August twenty fourth. Yeah. Joined up at Easter when I was 17, and then when I got there in that, that August, it was 18 when I went to Brandon Manipool. That's Gary's age, no? Yeah. Yeah. Well, then we have, you know, it, I remember uh, we went to one of these dances, you know, and uh, uh, I went in there, and there was Lloyd Horn from Lenore, who we know I know now. Could golf with him all the time. He was, he was coming back from Italy. He was the pilot. He ran into someone like that. Yeah. From Manitoba in England. Yeah, you know, six miles from Kenton. <laughs> <laughs> That's weird. That's yeah. like a movie. Yeah, it is. And I'll never forget. You know, I was pretty young and innocent, and we're at this dance, and the other guy and I are standing there. This girl comes up and she says, "You've got two nuts. Why don't you get cracking?" <laughs> and I'll never forget that as long as I live. It just shook me. You just have to look at Mike and realize, get picture him standing there. Yeah. There, that looked exactly alike. And you'd be in uniform still, right? All yeah. Time. And you'd be what rank? Sergeant. Sergeant, really? Yeah. What Sergeant uh, in the in the what? Because we did we did we, did we actually have an air force? <laughs> <laughs> no, because because like the uh, yeah, and Canada was in at war far before. The oh UK. yeah, with yeah, all these right. guys all flew all kinds of. So like in the like in the U.S., they didn't. Uh, it was uh, it was the army. They didn't actually have an air force, right? It was the army. Oh, we had the three then. Okay, so then how do you, we had what? We had the navy. The Air Force. The Air Force. And the Army. And what color was your uniform? Blue. What color was Army? Uh, khaki. And the Navy had the, you know, the Navy pants. The, the white. The yeah. And then the trip home was something else. It was everybody coming home. It was quite a thing. And I'll never forget the people that gambled. 
And all these guys were gambling all night. You playing what game? I don't know. They were playing all the poker games. But they all, you know, all these guys had been in the war, and they all had Luger's guns from the Germans they'd taken. You know, yeah. All kinds of them. And I could have had, you know, half a dozen of them. And they all... <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you? <laughs> <laughs> they, had, they, ever, they all had, you know, those kind of souvenirs, because they most of those guys saw service. They were coming home. We'll get to, I'll never forget, we get to Halifax, and you know, you all had these tin dishes that you ate out of. You know, you always had to keep them, and, and spoons, and knives, and forks. To get to Halifax, everybody threw them in the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> so how long of a train trip would that be to get from Halifax back to Brandon? No, no, I don't know. Was it one big trip? Or did you go so No, it was a troop train. Like, and you just yeah, it just continually went? It didn't, yeah. You didn't stop somewhere for a week or something? No, 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 just went continually and guys got off every year. So, so when, you, when you pulled into Brandon or wherever, your parents were there to meet you? Yeah. So were there guys that you knew from training all the way through and, and you came back with? Pretty well. Uh, you know, there was a couple of guys that I really liked, you know, and then you just lose track of them after. And I'm kind of mad about that, you know, because you know, we were together for, you know, a couple of years, so this. Yeah, that's what I mean. So what were their names? I don't know. I think. <laughs> Great experience. So. so you came back and then what? Did you then go to you went you went to university then, right? Yeah. I went back to get. I uh, uh, had to get French. I worked at the university, so I went to a little while in Kenton to get my French, and the guy just gave it to me actually, the principal. <laughs> That's why you can't speak French right now. <laughs> <laughs> then I went to university and. And it was, it was such a great time, you know, we had all these benefits, like we had money from for going to university, so we went to the mall pub every night. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible marks, so. With the guys that were gambling on the ship coming back, where'd they get the money? I don't know, I guess we had money, you know, they, they, we got paid all the time. You did? Yeah. And what did you do with yours? I have no idea. I can't remember coming home rich. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, for you know, at that time of your, your life, that was quite an experience. Oh you know, yeah. Yes, just like you, know, you go to Europe or something. You know, it was just like saw all of London and Burnaby and. Liverpool and all those towns over in England on the subways in London. So what do you mean you saw them? Did you go out exploring every day or, or no, did you have... No, no, just, yeah, just trips like holidays. Not holidays, but you, you, get, you get passes for weekend passes and that. And then where would you go? Well, I went to London. I went up to see my cousin, my father. Right, and, yeah. and then so another weekend you would just go into London and get go to a hotel or something? And no, I don't, can't remember that. We used to go to this town and have steaks, I remember. So it'd be a bunch of you. Would it be yeah. the same group of people that you always went with? Pretty well, as far as I know, Ken, I can't remember that. <laughs> you know, 70 years ago. No, yeah, no. well, we yeah. start to start remembering it. 60 years we'll get, ago. We'll get you some remembering, uh, some memory <laughs> uh, herbs now. That wouldn't hurt, you know, Mike or somebody like that to go through that training. Yeah. It's not the same, though. Like, that, you have people no, no, proud yeah, to go off to war. Yeah, that's right, Jay. You pretty well had to. Like, With my, a like my dad was in the, in the army, you know. And he was in what? 
World War, World War One. Yeah. Did he go overseas in World War One? No, he uh, it was in the inventory thing. He rode horses. His biggest job was riding, uh, rounding up. Uh, what do they call it? Objections in Quebec. Well, the, what did they call them? People that they didn't want to be conscripted, you know. So he was in Quebec on, on doing a lot of that, rounding up these. Uh, there's a picture of him on a horse. Yeah. Defectors. Defectors, yeah. Didn't want to go to war. Yeah, well, that, you know, there was conscription there, but that. So he'd be working for who? The army? To yeah. do that? Yeah. What was his rank? I think it was sergeant too, wasn't it? It must be on the it's on that picture, I think. What is sergeant good? I, I don't know. No, no, the no, sergeant is there's the top of the enlisted man. Yeah. What do you start out at? Nothing. Well, like corporal. Uh, no, L C A they're and then the corporal and then sergeant and then lieutenant. I was hoping to get a lieutenant from an air gunner, but uh, pretty near got there with my marks, but uh, a couple of guys got some pull from their officers that they knew and got a, a, a That's what we said anyway. Interesting, Dad. So what did you drink back then? You'd go to a pub. What did you drink? No, I can't remember. I can't remember drinking much. Period. Probably beer. Beer. Ale. Yeah. Beer in in England yeah. for sure. Yeah. Yeah, I remember going to some of those pubs in England where they you know, shoot the darts. You know, would be ale. But you didn't have a girl over there or anything? How come? I know two of us took a couple of girls out once. But they're just a walk in the park, that's all it was. Hmm. <laughs> and mostly like when we were born, Bournemouth, there were just thousands of us there. You know, we just the Bournemouth was right on the the ocean and then they had you know just miles of barbed wire all rolled up on the shore uh, you know it was a great place in the, in the now even and we're in a nice resort hotel you know, place where we're staying right on the ocean right on the channel there wherever it was <laughs> 